Good day everyone! Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat niyo na saan konnichiwa Kagma yung adlaw sa inyo channel This is Anne, welcome to my channel So today, susabihin ko sa inyo kung ano ang mga schedules If you are planning to apply as a nurse or caregiver dito sa Japan under JPEPA program So ayun, so ngayong month of February As much as possible, kompleto na yung 9 requirements na sinabi ko last vlog So ano yun, review mo na natin Resume TOR, college diploma, certificate of employment. Sa mga nurses, 3 years clinical experience. Sa mga caregivers, okay lang wala. But if you have, that's good. Then, GLPT certificate. Kung meron ka, that's good. If wala, okay lang. Kasi meron namang 6 months free language training with allowance doon sa Pinas. And another 6 months naman free language training plus allowance dito sa Japan at saka yung allowance nyo na sa 15 to 20,000 per month yon. So nag-aaral kayo, may allowance pa kayo, di ba? Then passport, NBI, PO certificate and workers information sheet. So lahat yon as much as possible kumpleto na ngayon February Y. Ngayong March to April is application period na. Yon. Then as much as possible, ipasa niyo yun as early as you can. Why? Ang daming mag-a-apply, marami kang competition. Then, your documents dapat clear, walang cuts. Then, i-insert niyo yata yun sa white and brown envelope. Then, lagyan niyo yun ng pangalan, nakabold. Dapat malinis yung pagkasulat. As in, presentable talaga. Okay? Then, after mo mag-apply, they will announce kung sino yung nakapasok sa shortlisting. Sa shortlisting, for example, sa amin, more than 1,000 or 2,000 kami yata yung nag-apply. Yung nakapasok for shortlisting is more than 5,000 lang. Around, ay, more than 500, around 600 lang. So, yun. Grabe talaga as in. Then, they will announce that sa first week of June. Then, by Middle of June, kung sino yung nakapasok for shortlisting, sila lang yung maka-attend for pre-briefing, pre-recruitment briefing. So, anong gagawin doon? Anong dapat dalhin? Dalhin mo yung passport mo, copies of your documents, and of course, your parents. Why? Pati yung parents kasi para malaman ng parents mo kung ano yung papasokin mo trabaho. Ano yung mga rules under sa ganitong program. Then, after briefing, meron, punta kayo ng Manila for interview. So, yung mga companies, pupunta din ng Manila. They will introduce about their company and ikaw rin mag-introduce rin about you para sa matching. Yon. Then, last year, sinaba ako ng company ko na pumunta doon sa Manila. Then, ano yung mga questions? Ito, self-introduction. Do you have Japanese background, clinical experience, why Japan, not other countries? Why do you want to work as a caregiver or as a nurse in Japan? Then, do you have any question? Then, para sa akin, as much as possible, magnihonggo ka. Hindi kailangan na super hirap or grabe super lalim ng nihonggo mo. Basic and simple is enough. For example, Watashi wa ana desu. Niju isai desu. Charot! <laughs> Ganon. Then, sa first, bago, bago ka mag-introduce ng name mo, hajime maste. Pagkatapos, dozo yoroshiko onigai shimasu. Yun. Pero pag hindi mo yun kaya, konnichiwa, arigato, hi. Okay na yun. Kasi like sa atin, if ang mga po foreigners magsabi ng mga nang umaga po, salamat po. Di ba ang sarap ng feeling? So, same thing din sa kanila. yon Then, after that, may matching. Sa matching, nakasulat doon ang lahat na information ng mga companies. The job descriptions, allowance, kung ano yung shifting, mga retirement, study program, lahat doon nakasulat. Basahin niyo yun lahat. 
sa ang location, may bonus ba, may accommodation ba. Kasi pag hindi niya nun binasa, what if yung accommodation pala kunin pa sa salary nyo? What if walang bonus? Dito sa Japan, yung pinakamurang accommodation dito, dito ha sa Yokohama, siguro nasa Gomang, which is 25,000. Sayang yun if i-shoulder pa yun or kunin pa yung salary nyo. So, careful talaga. Basahin lahat yon. Ang bonus rin, merong 100,000 to 300,000 per year. Pero pag walang bonus, sayang din yon. Basahin lahat yon. Hindi lang yung, ay, basta lang makapunta ako sa Japan. Kasi, pag nandito ka na at ang napuntahan mong facility, walang allowance, walang study, ay, walang study support, walang bonus, Nako, good luck talaga. Then, kunin pa sa, ba, sa salary mo yung accommodation mo or yung bahay mo. May electricity ka pa. As in, sobrang hirap. yon So, during matching, mag-select ka ng 10 companies na gusto-gusto mo talaga. Then, yung company rin din, mag-select din sila ng applicants na gusto nila. Then, as much as possible, may contact number ka or emails ka to follow up. yon Then, the result of matching will be September, mga middle to end of September. Then, if, naka, if you are successfully matched, mag-start na yung 6 months language training mo sa Pinas, November to May na yon, 6 months yon, with allowance yon. Then, June, pupunta na kayo dito sa Japan. Mag-start na rin yung another 6 months training nyo dito sa Japan until December. So, meaning to say, pagkatapos ng December or middle of December, usually yon, matapos yung training nyo dito sa Japan, punta na kayo ng facility, then mag-start na yung training nyo. Then, sa training nyan, 3 years yan. After 3 years sa mga caregivers, kukuha sila na caregiving lic licensure exam. So, one time chance sa ibang facility, sa ibang facility, nag papa-extend sila ng another a year sa hindi nakapasa para kumuha pa ng exam. Then, if hindi ka pa rin makapasa, uwi ka na ng Pinas. yon Sa mga nurses naman, for three years, may three times chance sila para kumuha ng exam. yon So, ano pa? I advise you na in a month, wala pang application or after application, before interview, manami pa, 4 months pa, mag-study kayo ng Nihongo, kahit basic lang, kahit self-introduction lang. Then, meron kayong alam about Japan. Kasi they will appreciate. And, I recommend Japan talaga. Kasi, super safe dito, pero mahal lang. Kahit, as in, yung water nila dito, yung nasa 12 pesos yata na mineral water water natin nasa 75 pesos dito sa Japan. Sobrang mahal dito. Pero okay naman yung salary. So, ayun. Good luck guys. Magkita-kita tayo dito. Hopefully. Then, welcome to Japan next year. <laughs> if possible. And if you have any comments or any questions, just comment below. Thank you so much for watching and see you again. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!